$5 Games presents Battle Block Theater. I really don't think I can beat the opening in entertaining, engaging rhetoric in any regard. For the waves blew fast against the friendship ship of friends until it banked to muck an island filled with mystery and spooks, but more especially cats that hide and spied and found the leader of the friends on the ship friendship. After receiving a hat that glowed red, Hattie Hatterton sat on a chair for years on end while every non cat on the is land collected gems in what is known as the battle block theater after all you will not read this sorry about that sometimes i get in a writing block and nonsense is the best way to get out of it maybe i should do this for all my reviews uh, anyways the story is kind of a puppet theater of a group of survivalists that are surviving a cat gladiator platforming thingamabob the game is silly and the narrator seems to be a man desperate desperately trying to keep a four-year-old's attention, which I find absolutely hilarious. But I'm sure others will just cringe more and more into non-existence as the conversation continues to talk about the storm and the waves going and going and going and going and going and going. And going. Sorry. Anyways, gameplay-wise, it is a platformer where you need to collect at least three of seven gems and escape. The penalty for dying is simply respawning at the last checkpoint flag you you touch. So in that regard, it's a fairly forgiving game. But that says nothing about the impossible difficulty or the user created stages, which undoubtedly reaches some level of mark some levels of Mario Maker BS. Pivotal to traversing each stage consists of identifying what block does what without being distracted by the narrator. For instance, he recommends jumping into the water. That kills you. And see those hot lava blocks? They're perfectly safe and act like a spring system. Upon finishing a stage, you are graded with a stamp book as shown here. If you get a score of A plus or better, you get bonus gems, which can can then be used for cosmetics, although it wouldn't surprise me if the final level had some kind of minimum gem requirement. The yarn balls can be used for more weapons, which I found to be mostly useless as I killed myself far more often than the enemy. It's way easier to just shove an enemy off a cliff than to precariously land a frisbee on their noggin. According to the Steam achievements, there appears to be eight worlds, and that's not a boss door, it's just a ton timed level where the game tries to crank up the chaos to 11. For me, the narrator telling the main story is the best part of the game, but the platforming is fairly good even without it. It definitely has co-op two-player, but I'm fairly certain that will be more of a hindrance than a help. But hey, that's what friends are for, right? Anyways, that's a wrap for this game. Consider picking this game up instead of a block of cats.